Hello again, human beings from the planet Earth. Back with you at about 19 minutes before 420 while I'm uh, checking my email. And uh, this from the Marijuana Policy Project. Uh, I'll read you the email real quick. The big news in the halls of Congress, a new bipartisan bill would modify the Federal Controlled Substance Act so that anyone acting in compliance with a state marijuana law would be immune from federal prosecution. The way it should be anyway. Uh, that's right. Uh, so they're encouraging everybody to uh, write their member of Congress. I'm getting ready to send mine out now. Uh, and as always, I'm not going to ask you to do something that I haven't already done myself. So I want to just show you that uh, this is going out. All my info's in there. You can see it. Um, now, for those of you that don't smoke, and even f those of you uh, who have you know, I've met people that have had secluded lives, I'm going to call it, and only know people that they claim have been adversely affected by marijuana. And most of the time, they don't tell you all the other shit those people are doing. So, anyway, I want you to think about, do you have the right to take this right away from me? We're talking about a seed-bearing plant. Uh, given to all men by God in a nation who founded its beliefs on God, okay, do you have the right to take that away from me? Do you have the right to restrict somebody? Now, even if in your state you can see reason that marijuana shouldn't be legalized, do you have the right to tell me in my state that I can't? The answer to both those questions is absolutely not. First of all, we shouldn't need a bill like this. The federal government is below the state's people. They're the glue that keeps all the states together. Nothing more. Okay, in my opinion. That's, that's how I see it. That's how I interpret the, my little knowledge of the Constitution, the Bill of Rights, the reasoning we started this, all of the above. Okay? But I'm going to ask you to all get behind this, please. Um, you know what? I want you to consider this. I think that a lot of people that don't smoke marijuana, when you talk to them, they automatically think that if they vote for, vote for the legalization of marijuana, that they have to smoke it themselves, and that they're going to be inundated by people that smoke marijuana. Listen, we need to live as respectful people. Now, how I handle my life? If I know that you don't like marijuana... I'm not going to talk about it around you uh, in, unless I'm prompted to. I, I'm not going to make you feel uncomfortable by smoking it, blowing hits in your face. I'm going to respect you and your right. Respect me and my right. We're talking about a plant that has never killed anybody. I don't need your permission to go eat Tylenol and destroy my liver. I should not need your permission to grow and consume a plant. Again, in a nation that claims to be under God and is clearly stated in the very first book of the Bible, that, and, and I know the Bible has been twisted, but, okay, it is there. It grows on this earth. I have to believe that portion of the Bible because it, we have seed-bearing plants and we can eat them. And we can eat marijuana and, and have many health benefits from it. And I'm not going to get into that debate. If you want to debate me, I would debate anyone, anywhere, anytime on this issue from any angle that you request and then the other angles you know nothing about I'll fill in the blanks for you but in the meantime please the link for this will be below share this on your social networks sign this again even if you're not a smoker you must respect my rights so please uh, and feel free remix this video uh, and get it on your channel so that we can make this go viral and uh, start getting some of our rights back much love Many thanks, and I'll see you soon.